Tuckety tuck tuck. Tuckety tuck tuck. Does he, does he have any chances for one spot? No. No, he doesn't. All right. Hey, guys. It is midday bottle feeding time. Look at these little cody coties. Yeah. I know. But you're starting to get excited when they see us now. Aren't they? Yes, they are. And what we do is always go in order from um, firstborn to lastborn when we're bottle feeding. And then we're just going to toss them over to make sure everybody gets fed and full bellies and we don't miss anybody. Um, and it also helps us remember who they are. Ain't that right, little fella? Hi. I know, I know. Oh, she's a loud one. Okay, this girl here... This is Molly's baby, and she wants me to feed her, but you are last, <laughs> and I'm absolutely in love with her, like a lot, and of course, Emily's like, you always like the loud ones. Because you make a habit of always picking and choosing the loudest ones. No. That's not a lie. Isn't that true? Hey, goat lovers. Crystal here with Blue Cactus Dairy Goats. It is really important for our goats to get bred in the fall and have their kids in the spring. That way, they're ready to compete in the dairy goat shows. And after all the kids are weaned and have gone to their new homes, we continue to milk twice a day. We use that milk to make the best homemade goat milk soap you can find. So head on over to our Etsy shop and show your skin some love. The link to our Etsy shop is in the description below. Oh, cuties. <laughs> This little Daytona uh, doe is pretty special too, aren't you? You're special. They all are. They're all so stinking cute. A bunch of girls. Six girls and three boys. And let's hope that continues. Three boys for the rest of the time. I don't know about only three boys for the rest of the time because we got some really awesome, amazing does and um, they could produce some really great herd sires, so that's okay too. But um, I'm telling you what, speaking of does, Willie is three days past her due date and what the heck is that about for one? She's never, I'll come down here so you guys can see babies. Um, she's really not a, the last two years she hasn't been a late kidder anyway. So this year, I'm, I'm pretty certain she only has four, potentially even three. Somebody must have just walked out and saw the, and the first fresheners. Um, so they hear the babies right now, that's what it is, sorry. They hear the babies because they're hungry and now they're screaming. So I'm gonna try to wrap this up, but Wildy is holding out still. She's really not bagged up too much at all, to be honest. Um, and her legs are really, really easy to find and not super squishy, but it's getting hollow around there. So because of the size of her belly and udder, I'm really thinking it's her year for does. Um, that is the one I like. Yeah, yeah, the one that's been screaming this whole time. Anyway, um, so nobody's in labor today. Um, they are just chilling. They're waiting for the next uh, rainstorm that comes in. Uh, I think Sunday and Monday we're going to get some pretty good rains. And it is crazy windy again today and tomorrow. So we'll just see. They uh, had six, ki uh, six doves kitted in two days. And now this is day two of a break. So I don't know, guys. I'm like, what the heck, girls? They're going to take a two-day break, and then crazy things are going to happen. You watch. So, anyway, that's what's going on here. We are just loving up on these babies and, um, you know, waiting on these other does to kids. 17 more and nobody as of today. So, that can't possibly hold for too much longer. So, probably tomorrow we'll have like eight, eight that'll want a kid or something. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But anyway, so we're all doing good. Emily and I are happy with the babies. And other than that, we will see you all again very soon, guys. <laughs>